Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I thought I would share with you the various um, sheet masks and um, clay mask, overnight mask, sleeping mask, that type thing that I used during the month of May. Um, I didn't show any um, of my mask empties in my May empties video. I think what I'm going to start doing every month is um, doing a separate video showing you the sheet masks that I've used and then showing you some of the other masks that I've used during the month. Because some of these come in pots and tubes and it takes a very long time to use them up and if I wait until they're completely gone to put them in empties and um, then tell you about them, um, you may be losing opportunity to um, benefit from using them. So. Anyway, I just thought I would maybe try this and see how this works. If you would like this format of type of video, you can just let me know. If it's something you're not interested in, then let me know that also, and I, I won't do them anymore. But anyway, whew, I feel like I'm out of breath. We just went and ate um, lunch, and I feel like I've been running trying to gather all this up. I have my notes um, as always so if you see me looking down that's why I have I do make notes on products because I want to make sure that when I get on here that I want that I tell you everything that I, I have been thinking of that I wanted to, to make sure I tell you because I get on here and I get to talking and then I'll forget forget what I was going to say or I'll forget to tell you uh, maybe a very important um, information I'm just trying to figure out what that noise is I guess my husband has the TV on he was out in his office yeah it's the TV in this house it's hard to it's hard to tell where sound comes from so I was kind of debating if it was coming from in front of me which is where the living room is on the other side of this wall or if it was behind me outside, someone talking out on the sidewalk. But then he has TV on. Anyway, so let's get started with what I use. I'm going to start with my sheet mask. And uh, first I have is from um, the Martini line. And this is a professional grade um, mask. But you can find these on, I'm pretty sure on Amazon now. And Holt Look will have these periodically also. This one was the Milk Collagen Mask and um, it's supposed to help with um, freckles, hyperpigmentation, lightens and, and restores vitality. So it's supposed to help you know, with lightening pigmentation on your skin, which of course we all know that any kind of product like this, in order for it to work, um, you're not gonna re see results after one time. I mean, it's just like exercising or um, eating healthy. You, you know, it's gonna be long-term before you really start seeing results. Anyway, I did use this. Now, I will tell you how I had to use this because this was a very, very, very drippy mask. Very drippy to the point where it would drip in my eyes. And there's a lot of masks that don't even do that. But this, this little guy here, super drippy. So I had to use this while I was in the bath. And so after I was done um, cleansing face and body, then I would just um, put a little more hot water in the bathtub and put this on and just kind of relax that way. If it was dripping down, then I could just rinse it. And then after I put the sheet on my mat on my face, then any residents that was left in here, any of the um, essence or the serum, I poured out in my bath also. So it kind of made it like a little bit of a milk bath also for the body because um, there was plenty of that in here because these are designed really for you to be able to use two or three times so that's how i had to use this i mean i liked the results and the way that it felt and everything it's just it was so so drippy so i'm going to look for some different um maybe a different brand of a milk mask um that's not so drippy but anyway but the martini line is a good line like i said it's professional grade it is expensive um so, and then I had another one, so I used two of those. And then with the same lines as the Martini was the Banana 
wrinkle lifting mask and this is for all aging skin reinforces firming and anti-wrinkle action now I will tell you with this one and this was a sheet it wasn't like a gel all of these I think are all the martini ones was a sheet and as opposed to the gel mask anyway this thing was so sticky sticky oh I can't stand it I mean usually when I get done with the mask I can um, when I take the mask off I take the essence and I rub it and just rub it into the skin and all over the neck and the decollete and then that's it I don't have to rinse it these things this one I had to rinse there is no way I could leave that stickiness on my skin all night long it was I didn't like it at all so that was the banana and then the green apple collagen from martini this one is for all skin types brightens complexion and toned skin and this was the same way it was super 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 st sticky um, I got to the point where I think this one I used in the bath um, just so I didn't have to deal with that stickiness all over me and then that way when I got done with my bath I rinsed it off I mean I tried to leave the essence on as long as possible so I could you know benefit from the essence but it was just so sticky but on the other hand with both of these I mean this one definitely smelled like green apple it smelled like a Jolly Rancher green apple candy for sure and then this one smelled very much like banana I mean the, the smell of them was wonderful it's just they were just so sticky and I don't know if it's because of the fact that they were um, fruits but whew, those things were sticky so all right let's go into some ones from that I had ordered from a company called Peach and Lily it is a um, a Korean website that sells various brands of Korean skincare and their house brand Peach and Lily um, I did have some of their sheet mask and this is called the chubby cheeks for lift and plump um, it's supposed to combat gravity with shots of skin firming power power ingredients um, has ginseng snail secretion um, kidney bean a whole bunch of other stuff anyway it's supposed to help you know with lifting and plumping and the reason why they call it chubby cheeks is you know because when you're a child you have those little, really cute chubby cheeks anyway so um, I do enjoy those I use two of those I do recommend um, those those were really good and those are usually sold out on that website so you may have to check back and then also from the same website was a sheet mask called um, Saturday skin and this is for quenching for moisturization um, this was a very 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 drippy mask um, it was the gel formula type mask it wasn't um, cotton but it was very hydrating but just be warned that if you get one like this that says the Saturday skin it is very very drippy and it says um, like a good drink of water for the skin hyaluronic acid replenishes moisture with watermelon and aloe so that has watermelon and aloe in it I didn't notice any watermelon smell with that but I do like those so okay um, and we're going to have to stop here and pause because my battery is going to go dead. So let me change that and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So if the angle is different, that's because I had to take the camera completely. I have to take my camera completely off my tripod to change the battery. And of course, when I put it back, I can never put it back exactly like it was. So anyway, so we'll go from there. Let me see if I can get myself adjusted on my chair. Okay, another mask that I tried is this one here, and I did get this from TJ Maxx, I'm pretty sure. Yes, I think so. Anyway, this is the Secret Nature Moisturizing Rose Mask Sheet. And of course, you know, you know, you, if you watch my channel for any amount of time, you know I love the scent of roses, I love roses, and this is what drew me in right here very nice um, moisturizing had a lot of essence in it um, it wasn't expensive it wasn't um, sticky it wasn't overpowering of rose um, just a, a small hint of rose I, I probably me personally would have, have preferred more rose but anyway it was a nice one so if you see those at 
TJ Maxx or uh, Marshalls, I would recommend those. And then another one that I got from, um, I think Annie may have sent this to me. Either Annie sent this to me or I got it at TJ Maxx, but it's the, oh, I don't know how to say this. Jeju Natural Green Tea Mask that is aqua, meaning for hydration. So it's for deep moisture and pore. Um, let's see, let me pull it back. Can you see it there? So I got those. Oh yeah, so you can see the little guy here. I think this is like their symbol that's on all of their packaging. So I did, I like this. This was a Korean skincare mask. Um, I don't think I have really have come across too many Korean skincare masks that I haven't liked. So, very few masks, actually, that I have tried that I don't like. You know, what would make me not like it if it's sticky, like those ones, or um, the scent. Some of them I've tried, the fumes was so intense, that would burn my eyes. So, anyway. Okay. So back to what I've actually used. This is the Skin Factory, the EGF Moisture Tox Ampule Mask. And this is the Silk Cellular Rose Mask Sheet for um, hydration. And yes, I did like that. It was very good. And I'm pretty sure I got that from Annie also. Okay, this right here was from TJ Maxx. And this is the Nature Love Rose Petal Eye Mask. Um, these were nice. They were very thin, um, had a lot of essence, um, definitely kind of moved around. They weren't any of those ones that are the gel that kind of stick and stay. So you definitely had to sit still for these. Um, it's supposed to be for brightening and hydration. I did feel the hydration. I'm not so sure about about brightening because I've only used one, but um, so I did have that. And some other... Um, eye mask was from Bosha, the Saki Brightening Hydrogel Eye Mask. I just don't feel like for these being supposed to be for moisturization, there wasn't a lot of juice to them to moisturize the skin under the eye. So I would not repurchase these. Plus these were expensive. It was um, three for $15, I think. So I, I would pass on those. So those were the sheet masks that I used for May. So now let's kind of talk about some of the overnight masks and some of the detoxing masks that I've used um, for the month of May. So first of all, I'm going to talk about one that I don't actually have because I just had a little deluxe size sample and you would have seen me talking about it in my um, May empties, but I'll, I'll put up a picture. I'm not for sure which size my picture is going to be on yet. But I'll put up a picture of it so that you can at least see what it looks like. But it's from First Aid Beauty. And it's the Facial Radiance Peel. And oh my stars. That stuff works. It, yes. If you have sensitive skin, when you first put it on, you might want to just leave it on for like maybe three minutes or so. But once you build up a little bit of tolerance to it, you can leave it on for about ten minutes. Uh, it will exfoliate your skin like no other. Um, you will notice after a couple days of using that, everything's going to start peeling and sloughing off, and you're going to have fresher, brighter, youthful, more skin underneath, and it's going to look good. But you just got to get through that little few days of peeling. But once you get through that, oh, it looks so good. I love it. I love that. I'm, I have that on my list to purchase um, probably in November, but... Um, Yes, I thought that was very good. Um, and it comes in a pot, a jar, and it's around $40. So, but you'll get a lot of uses out of that. So I really do recommend that. Go into Sephora and and uh, get a sample of it. So, okay, then another one that I've been using is this one from Algenist. It's the Algenist Splash Absolute Hydration. I had to write that down on my paper because there's no way I can read what that says. But it's a replenishing sleep pack. So how I use my sleep packs is I do my nightly skincare just like I would any other time. And then this will be go on last. This will go on over everything that I've put on my skin. And then I just leave this on. Um, it's intensely hydration. It will leave your skin nice and soft in the morning. Um, there is no tackiness. Um, I didn't feel like when I got up the following morning that there was 
I, enough of it left on the skin that I felt like I needed to rinse the face immediately once getting up so it, it absorbed into the skin and just left everything nice and soft and plumped and I really did enjoy that. Another mask that I use um, as a sleeping mask, even though it's not intended as a sleeping mask, um, and this is by Carez, it's the Carez Wild Rose Intense Instant Brightening and Illuminating Mask is right here. Um, this is supposed to, you're supposed to put this on um, clean, dry skin, leave it on for 10, 15, 20 minutes, and then tissue off. I use this, this as a sleeping mask, so I do all my skincare like I normally would, just the same as I had used the Algenist, and then I put this on last, put it all over, um, rub it in, and I feel like it works really good. Um, it brightens, it hydrates has a nice scent. Of course, it has the rose scent to it, but it's not overpowering. Um, Carez does have one that is a overnight rose sleepy mask. So, um, anyway, so I have been using that. I do like this. I don't know, you're not going to be able to tell how much I've used. It doesn't take very much of it either. And then, um, a, um, detox mask that I've been using is from Coda Lee and this is the instant detox mask and this deeply cleans and um, minimizes pores I just like it to use it like a couple times a month just to make sure I'm getting all that gunk out of my skin it is a clay mask so uh, you just put it on clean dry skin let it dry about 15 20 minutes once it dried down then I would rinse it off and then go in with my my night race skincare. Um, so again, I would put this on in the bath um, after getting done cleaning. Put some more hot water in, put that on, and just sit back and relax in the tub. Sometimes I would watch a little bit of YouTube or Netflix. And then once that dries, then just rinse it off and just leaves your skin just feeling really, really clean like you've really... Um, work to get everything out even if you don't normally suffer with clogged pores it's always good to use a detox mask periodically just to make sure we get everything out of the skin so and it really helps I think to use it in in the tub before well you couldn't use it in the shower because you want it to dry but because you know it's a little bit moist in there <laughs> so anyway I like that one okay and then the last one I want to talk about is this guy here and this is the silk therapeutics lab grab glycolic uh, mask I did get this from Octoly um, it is a new um, brand and I'll put a link for it in the description box because I'm not really for sure where you can find it at other than through that link but anyway what I liked about this is that it is a, a gel type consistency almost and I've used quite a bit of that guy you can see I use this I probably use this about twice a week it is very gentle it's a very gentle exfoliant as far as with glycolic and it doesn't take very much um, here is what the consistency looks like and when you smooth it out you can see how that's starting to dry that detox mask Anyway, when you smooth it out onto your skin, it's almost just like smoothing water onto your skin. So you smooth it on your skin, then you let it set for about 10, 15 minutes or until it dries, and then you rinse it off. And your skin looks so good. I'm telling you, it will look wonderful. Now, it is a pricey product. Um, it is $60. But here's something you should know about it. When you go to look at the ingredient list for this product, you're going to see three ingredients. And I don't mean three key ingredients or three active ingredients or three main ingredients that we've all heard of. No, you're going to see three ingredients total. That's all that is in here is three ingredients, which is liquid silk, glycolic acid, and organic mango extract. That's all that's in here. There is no preservatives, there's no fillers, there's no fragrance, there's nothing in here that is bad for the skin. 
that those three ingredients combined into this product and put onto your skin and used will make your skin look wonderful. So I really, really do like that product. And I'm gonna be sad when it's gone. Yeah. So anyway, so that is it. Those are the masks, the sheet masks, the peels, the overnight masks that I have used for the month of May. Um, let me know in the comments um, what you used and also if you like this type of video, if it's something that you would enjoy um, seeing every month. And um, that will be it for today. We'll talk to you later.